Hi everyone, this is a how-to video on two widgets from the Orange Data Mining software, Example Distance and Multidimensional Scaling, or MDS for short. First, I will give a brief overview about the purpose of these widgets, and then I'll give a demonstration on how to use these widgets. So again, we're focusing on Example Distance and MDS. What does Example Distance do? Well, it takes your data set and computes distances between examples in the data set. This distance measure is useful because it provides a measure of similarity between the examples in the data set. What is multidimensional scaling? It's a technique which finds a low dimensional projection of points wherein the intent is to fit the given distances between points as well as possible. All right. Now on to the demonstration. First we need to draw our scheme. This is easy enough. We find our widgets of interest and drag them down. We need a data set to work with. We select this using the file widget. We go over to data, select file. We need to draw connection lines between the widgets easy enough. I'll be using data from the example data sets already available in orange. I'll be choosing the zoo data set, a matrix with examples of zoo animals and various attributes. Right click on file, go to open, you can browse for the data set, find zoo close out. Easy. Now let's open up example distance. This is also a fairly straightforward widget. There are some parameters here that I will, I will explain. There is an option for different distance metrics. We use different distance functions to compute different metrics. We will use the standard Euclidean metric, the one we're all used to. These are the other available metrics. We select normalized data. To make our graphs more readable, select the examples to be labeled by name. Close out and now open up MDS. rescale here. Alright, so the widget has already created a projection for us. Yours will likely be different from mine based on the previous settings of the widget. There are various parameters we can tune. Let's go through them. On the multidimensional scaling tab, there are a group of buttons which set the position of points. Randomize sets the points to a random position we can do this a few times. Jitter randomly moves the points for a short distance. This is useful for instance if your optimization method is trapped within a local minimum. The Torgerson button positions the points using Torgerson's method which minimizes the strain function between points. Finally the optimize function uses predetermined methods to find the optimal projection of your data. So just to review, we can randomize and then optimize. Pretty neat, huh? Now, let's go to the graph. The widget can superimpose a graph onto the projection where the specified proportion of the most similar pairs is connected with the width of connection showing the similarity. So let's go ahead and try that. Select similar pairs under distance stress and then we can increase the proportion of connected pairs. Thus, this gives us a graph showing the most similar pairs. Okay, 
so you can change other parameters with your graph i.e. the color, how to color each point I had it on type of animal before you can change the size the shapes can be based on other attributes within the data set there are zoom functions zoom in other parts of the data and select functions one more point I wanted to make was back in the MDS tab the stress function can be chosen to be different things I chose signed relative stress but other ones are available all right that's about it. Thanks for watching my how-to video. For more information on using these and other widgets, I suggest going to the Orange website and reading their widget manuals.